Good afternoon, everybody. I've been asked to kick things off uh, this afternoon. Um, welcome. Thank you all for coming. Um, uh, most of you probably, I probably know most of you, but if you don't know me, my name is Mark Poston. I am acting public counsel for the Office of the Public Counsel. Um, and hopefully, hopefully you saw the governor's um, press conference last week that uh, announced some pretty big changes for the commission and for OPC. Um, so we wanted to take this opportunity to um, today to let you hear more from uh, Director Rob Dixon and Director Clara Lindley Myers um, about some of those changes. Um, since these changes have been announced, I know we've had a lot of discussions within our office and with some PSC folk and industry folks, and um, I've not heard anything but positive feedback um, about this move. Um, and so we look forward to working uh, with uh, uh, Director, Director Lindley Myers going forward. But uh, before we hear from her um, and Director Dixon, I ask uh, Chairman Silly to please come on up and uh, give a few remarks. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Mark. Um, you know, as I mentioned last week, uh, the goal in this process, at least as, uh, from the PSC perspective, is for this to be as seamless as possible. Um, and again, we're going to have a pretty long runway to get this done. Um, we were able to uh, meet uh, just a little while ago with both Director Dixon and Director Lindley Myers uh, to begin that process, and, uh, and I'm excited about that. Um, I think that there are some great synergies um, with what it will be the new Department of Commerce um, with, with the functionality of what we do. Um, again, uh, they have a lot of uh, independent agencies in that, uh, in that fold right now. Um, and they uh, they are all consumer focused, which which we are as well. So I think it's going to be I think it's going to be a good fit when it's all done, and I think it's going to be uh, I think it's going to be a smooth transition. So I'm encouraged by the discussions we've already had, and uh, look forward to working with uh, Director Lindley Myers. And uh, with that, I would like to introduce uh, Director Rob Dixon. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. So uh, I wanted to take just a quick step back, if I could, and talk a little bit about why uh, some of these changes are happening in the first place. Um, I know kind of on the, the surface it might look like a bit of a paper exercise where you're kind of looking at lines and charts and things like that on, on different org charts and whatnot. Uh, but there's two really key objectives that the governor, that the entire administration, that we're trying to accomplish with all of this. And the first one, and we've talked a little bit about this through our Best in Midwest initiative, and just to be really candid about it, uh, our economic development efforts in Missouri are not competitive with other states. As an agency-to-agency -agency kind of head-to-head -head comparison, we are getting beat by almost every other state in the Midwest around us and by many of the key other states uh, across the country. So that's kind of point one. Point two is there are, uh, as the chairman mentioned, some obvious synergies that could happen in state government through this realignment. This is uh, helping DED get laser focused, frankly, on those things that are going to help us be more competitive in economic development to help us go head to head, but also in terms of delivering better and more efficient services to the state of Missouri and to the citizens that we all serve together uh, through working together. So we're obviously here today to talk uh, quite a bit about the, uh, the impact on the Public Service Commission and the Office of Public Counsel. But just for some broader context as well, the governor's, uh, initiative, or governor's executive orders uh, that he signed last week do really three big things. Um, one is it reorganizes the Department of Economic Development uh, internally. So uh, the divisions that are staying at DED are being reorganized. New divisions are being created to really um, revolve our programs and services around our customers, around the different regions of the state of Missouri to help us better serve uh, St. Louis, the Boot Heel, Kansas City, to try to help them uh, kind of in unique and targeted ways. Uh, so reorganizing internally uh, the Department of Economic Development. One of the other really big moving parts of all of this is the Division of Workforce Development is going to be transferred over to the Department of Higher Education. And if you've heard the governor talk about uh, anything, I'm sure you've heard him talk about two things, workforce development and infrastructure. And those are the two things, the two real pillars that are going to move our state's economy forward. So moving the Division of Workforce Development to the Department of Higher Education will allow us to have a more strategic and comprehensive really talent development strategy across the board. So it's not, again, just moving it from DED to DHE, but allowing those two entities to come together in a new sophisticated way that truly puts Missouri at the front of the nation in some of these innovative workforce strategies. 
The other um, components of the, the change that are happening, the division of energy, which I know your, uh, your two uh, areas really focus on and have worked with quite a bit over the years, is going to go back to the Department of Natural Resources. Um, and so the reason for that, of course, is the kind of the natural alignment between DNR and the work that the Division of Energy does. That's going to allow all of those entities to, again, have a more comprehensive strategy. I'm sure you will continue to work with the Division of Energy and the Department of Natural Resources uh, as you have done and, and will continue to do. But more than anything else, this is about better serving the citizens of our state, about uh, really changing and, and changing the trajectory on some key areas that uh, just to, again to be candid about it, we're not we're not doing so well, and, and that has to do with our economic development efforts and the trajectory of our economy. You guys, from the from from your perspective, uh, we want to make this, as the chairman mentioned, as seamless as possible. We also want to make it as seamless as possible for the citizens and the and the folks that you interact with. And so the the three entities. Or, sorry, the, the two departments and then the, the uh, two divisions are going to be working together um, between now and uh, really between now and August is how the whole process plays out uh, to make sure all the moving parts and the mechanics work together. But uh, just so you know and wanted you to hear it, um, that the commitment still continues to be there. And I hope you saw the commitment that the governor is making in our state's workforce, in our state's infrastructure strategies, in our state's economic development strategies, continues to believe in the work that you're doing and will continue to do uh, going forward. So while there are uh, kind of some strategic changes going on, the day-to-day -day work that we all do remains, and that's to serve the citizens of the state of Missouri and to continue to drive forward the things that we have been. So um, without any further ado from me, I'd like to introduce my colleague, uh, Director Clara Lindley Myers, to talk about the, the newly named uh, Department of Commerce and Insurance. Clara? Hey, I'm going to come over here all the time if I get claps. Uh, my name is Clara Lindley Myers, and I'm the director of the Department of Insurance, Financial Institutions, and Professional Registration. Quite a mouthful. Uh, we are going to be transitioning, and we are welcoming all of you uh, into the current DIFP, soon to be renamed the Department of Commerce and Insurance. We're located in the Truman Building uh, at, at room 530. That's where my office is. But we have uh, people that are located on the 6th floor, the 7th floor, and the 8th floor of the Truman Building. And PR, which is professional registration, is located on Missouri Boulevard down from uh, social services. So um, it, is, it, is my, I, it is, I can't tell you how happy I am to welcome you into DIFP. Nothing is going to change. We're going to work. If, if it does change, we're working with the current leadership to try to make sure that we make it better. But at this particular point, you're staying right where you are. Your desks are going to be right where they are. You're going to stay in this building, uh, both uh, OPC as well as the Public Service Commission. So it, it should be relatively seamless. There's going to be hip, hiccups. Uh, they always are. And so we're going to try to work through that together. Um, I want you to, to understand that from our point of view, we have a lot of different, we have type three agencies, we have insurance, which has not only the complaint section, we also have one for company regulation, which is regulating the insurers in this particular, in the state, and making sure that they are solvent and that they can actually do the work that they're supposed to be doing and making sure that they can actually pay the claims on any person that they insure. We also have the market uh, regulation division, which looks at the rates, the forms, and the policy um, agendas to make sure that uh, people are being properly uh, insured. And then after they've been insured for a while, we actually send from the market regulation section, we send out people through market conduct activities, which make sure that they're actually adhering to the laws and the statutes. We also have the division of finance which is about uh, 250 people, uh, which does all the banks, the mortgage brokers, uh, payday lending, um, uh, which they call credit finance services. So there's a lot of different you know, areas there. Then we have the credit unions, which has about 16, 17 people uh, that, uh, that uh, looks at the credit unions. Uh, we have over 14 billion in credit uh, it, for the credit unions that you know they bring into the state. These are state chartered either credit unions or banks, and so you know we're looking at that. And then for PR, we have about 40, 41 different professional registrations 
uh, that uh, occur out at Missouri Boulevard and that we give our attention to, from electrical contractors to the Athletic Commission. I try not to go to any of those meetings. But anyway, the, the, the whole deal is the mixed martial arts with the Athletic Commission, and it's a lot of blood and guts and stuff. So I haven't gone to any of those things, but uh, and I try to shy away from it, but I, I probably will. But likewise, I will. Uh, you know, be you know, trying to get here uh, from the Truman Building uh, to you know, try to do whatever I can to make you feel welcome, to make you feel that you know you you are a part of of the group. We're getting we're getting a little bit bigger, but we're doing the same thing that you guys have always done. Uh, I think I'm can take questions. I think that's what we're supposed to be doing. And if you have any questions, just if I don't know the answer, I'll tell you I don't know, and I'll try to get the answers for you. Uh, but you know, I don't, I don't anticipate it's going to be you know anything diff difficult or different from what you've been doing. There might be some some tweaks that we have to do to make sure that we're all under this one agency. But we're going to do that, whatever it is, together. Yes. The, whatever was in the DED budget, and you know, and, and Rob is, is is nodding his head. Whatever was there is taken over because there was no overlap, uh, so it's just taken over uh, from um, DED's budget. So it's no real sort of difference uh, in in what's in the budget papers and and things. And today I had an introduction, uh, so I was over there at eight o'clock this morning. And, you know, they didn't ask me any questions. They know that we're melding together, so there was no real questions. Uh, we have uh, alerted both the OPC as well as the PSC that we have a hearing on uh, the 31st of January with the House and on February 5th with the Senate. So, you know, there might be some hiccups, and if there are, we'll, we'll work through them and try to, you know, make sure that uh, we let everybody know. Generally, um, I didn't sort of touch on this earlier, but generally we have had, the DIFT have had uh, two times a month, we've had staff meetings, senior staff meetings. We kind of put a halt to that because we're trying to figure out how things are working out and the legislative session, but we're going to start that back up uh, and uh, probably in the middle of, of February, if not certainly by the beginning of March, so that uh, when the 18th of March, which is sort of the, the D date uh, of the executive order, for me, it's 1902, will, you know, uh, will go into effect if there's been no um, adverse information from the General Assembly, and then we have until August 28th to just sort of firm everything up. Come on, somebody's got at least one more question. I got to have one more. Yes. Yes. The short answer is yes. <laughs> and do I know when? We're working on it. <laughs> so I can't really tell you like when because what will probably happen is there'll be all this melding, but name changes in the statutes and all of that, that will occur next year during the next session to make sure that we clean up the statutes where it said, you know, you did such and such with DED. It'll then say you do whatever it is with commerce and insurance. You're welcome. I am, um, I am just, just so you know, I am an early bird and a late Bird. So I'm usually around at six in the morning, and I try to leave by seven at night. But sometimes I'm, you know, I, I'm kind of, you know, kept there. I'm easily accessible. So if you call, I'll answer the phone, um, much to my staff's chagrin. But uh, I do. I'll answer the phone, and I, I'm, you know, you can ask around. I mean, I'm fairly um, easy to get a hold of. The only time it's probably really, really stressful is when I have to do things across the street. And it will probably be, uh, meaning at the legislature, and it will probably be even a little bit more stressful uh, because of the melding, but, you know, we can handle it. Any other questions? Maybe you don't have questions for me. What about Rob? Nobody asked him any questions. <laughs> Yes. 
Actually, uh, during the press conference, uh, when, when the governor announced these changes, we did uh, get a question from the media, and one of them said, well, how is Dixon's job going to get easier by this? And the governor started talking about how my job is going to get easier. And then all of a sudden he said, wait a second, no one's job is going to get easier by this. It's uh, to better serve the citizens. So um, any, any other questions? Well, great. I think we can have cookies. Oh, no, did you? Oh, no, please. Yes, sir. It is, yes, sir. Well, look for more communication from, uh, from the two departments. Certainly, as Director Lindley Myers mentioned, we are both accessible if you have questions. Uh, we have our leadership teams from uh, the two departments as well as uh, from PSC and OPC working together regularly. We know there's going to be a lot of questions that come up along the way. Um, we will sort them out together. Uh, this is going to be a seamless uh, process for you and for the citizens of the state. Uh, but please feel free to ask questions along the way. Um, and if you, if you have a question, just feel free to send an email, raise your hand, whatever. We're happy to do it. Yes, sir, in the back. So uh, the way the process works, uh, the governor issued the executive orders. As uh, the director said, by March 18th is when those are considered passed unless the General Assembly says otherwise. Uh, there's a 60-day clock on it from when the governor signs it, so 60 days from last week. Then uh, the budget uh, takes effect on July 1st. Both PSC and OPC budgets are already in the Department of Commerce and Insurance budget. So when that takes effect on July 1, uh, the budgets are in place. And then August 28th is when everything has the effect of law. And so there's a, there's a bit of a, of a process that has to happen in between, uh, between the, the entities to make sure that uh, that period of time between July 1 uh, for budget day and August 28th for effective date day, uh, we have some MOUs that we're going to be working through together to, to extend those budget authorities in that period of time. But August 28th is when the effective date of everything is on paper. Now, if, we're, if we are going to make this a seamless process, that means we have a lot of work to do between now and then so that you guys don't break stride, that we don't break stride, and that's what we're, we're talking about in terms of between now and then working through together. So a couple of key milestones, March 18th, July 1st for the budget, and then August 28th for the actual effective date of the actual transfer of all the authorities and everything like that. Last call. Well, guys, thanks so much for the opportunity to, to work together. Um, from, a, from DED's perspective, we have valued the relationship with both PSC and OPC. We will continue to value that relationship. Uh, you might think you're getting rid of us, but we all are going to be working together to advance our state's infrastructure needs, our state's workforce needs, and certainly the economy, and continue to look forward to, to working together with our colleagues at the newly named Department of Commerce and Insurance. Any, any last words? Let's dig in for cookies and punch. <laughs> Thank you, guys.